Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Tuesday morning. Um, up getting ready for our daily bread. I woke up late again today, y'all. I think it's the hour change. You know the time changed or something. So I can I can tell because it is already 7:30. And it's not even really daylight outside yet, so that's kind of weird. But anyway, good morning, good morning. We're going to get right into the daily bread. Miss K's stomach was feeling queasy this morning, so I um, I just had a taste for some toast, butter, and strawberry jelly. I got hot tea today. Mm-hmm. Hot tea, probiotic tea, my yogurt, and my vitamin. And water. I got to tell y'all about an alert came to my phone, okay? But after the daily bread, we're going to get right into it. Okay. Listen at the news in the background. How y'all doing this morning? God woke you up. It's a new day, baby. Okay, this is coming out of Judges chapter 2, verse 7. And the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of the Lord that he did for Israel. Joshua witnessed many mighty acts of the Lord as God led the Israelites through the desert with Moses. The people of Israel served the Lord while Joshua was alive and while others who had seen God's works were alive. It is much easier to have faith when you witness things first or second hand. It's harder when you believe without seeing. Jesus said that those who believe without seeing are blessed. Let's have faith in our great God, even though we have not seen. Heavenly Father, you are great. Your character has never changed. You were the same yesterday and will be the same tomorrow. I can always count on you. I have not seen your face, but I have read of your works throughout history. Make my faith strong and help me to believe. Have faith for me when I lack faith. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Give him your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. That's a story by David Jacobs. Now let's go to the quiz. As the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of the Lord that he did for Israel. Judges. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the daily bread today. I used to always say that when I used to pray. I said, Lord, I just wish y'all could just see you right here and you was here. I know he's here and I have faith and I know I believe but, you know, can you imagine just having Jesus right here walking by you? Honey, I wouldn't go nowhere. I'd be following him every step of the way he went. I tell you, because this world is getting crazy. Y'all, we better stay prayed up. We better pray hard. I ain't even going to tell y'all who that is. Y'all know who that is. Y'all know who that one was. See, I think that's why my phone be hesitating. Did y'all see yesterday? How my lips was moving. It was like one of the old school Japanese Kung Fu movies. Like the words was going one way and my voice was going the other. And that was the publisher's clearing house. I tell you, Jesus. Let them know. They can come right on in. But what I was saying, y'all. We got to stay prayed up, of course. But we also need to stock up. I got some personal feelings. And I don't know if I'm paranoid or what. But... A uh, text came to my phone over the night. It was my news break channel that sent me breaking newses of things happening all over the world with this coronavirus, with this, with that, and the third, murders, homicides, you name it. So I picked up my phone, put my glasses on. Do you know these people out here are offering you $4,500 to be injected with the coronavirus? Okay, somebody said, I wish you take off them glasses so I can see your ass. Now, I'm going to take my glasses off for this one. Now, look at them. They, can, they might be a little lazy-eyed, but they are offering $4,500 to people to be injected with the coronavirus. Yeah, you heard me correctly. 
Okay. Let that marinate. Now, now I'm going to take it somewhere. Okay, now if they got it to inject you with it, how do you think these people come? They got it, got it from. If they can inject it in you, you don't think they can't inject it in your food supply? You don't think they can't inject it in anything that you go out here and buy in them stores? Now, aren't those Dollar Trees from over there in China? And every neighborhood got a what? Okay, people. All the Christians, it's they've been saying this for a couple of years. You better get your own gardens. You better start stocking up. You better start putting up canned goods. Even Miss Kate, I've been telling you for the last past year, have an emergency cabinet and put stuff in that cabinet that you do not touch in case of an emergency. Haven't I told you that in several of my videos I done said that? Yes, I got stuff stocked up. I got a little light something in here for Miss K and anybody that come knock on this door in need. But I tell you this right now. It's getting ready to get thick, y'all. Didn't I tell y'all there's some things getting ready to happen on this earth that we ain't used to? And we better take this serious. And we better pray. And we better repent. And we better ask God to come into our lives. If they can inject it in you and pay you $4,500 and you might not even live, what else you think they can put it in? This world is about to go crazy and it's about to be chaotic. Then they're going to have a store that got all the good food. And then that's when the mark of the beast going to come in. Well, in order for you to shop in here, you're going to have to have that number of the beast. Sound like the end of times is here to me. I told you some things going to go down on this earth before Jesus come get us, y'all. We better pray. Get prayed up, repent, and pray for him to come on and let us take us home. Because I ain't want to be down here with all this mess. You ain't never seen them rapture movies, how people walking around like zombies in the end of time. After the rapture, you know how they say after the rapture, how everything going to be. People breaking in houses, stealing, robbing, murdering, all kind of stuff, trying to survive. People walking around, uh, bleeding and all that kind of stuff. You ain't never seen none of them kind of movies. That's It's going to be like that to the third power. And that virus might be what making people walking around like zombies and they're going to be eating on people and stuff, child. I'm going to tell you. Oh, you watch too much TV. Okay. <laughs> Pray, y'all. Pray, pray, it's time to fast, stop getting used to this food, because we ain't going to have it, nothing but what you stocked up on, you understand, take this serious y'all, I don't want, I clear this is going to be rough, pray for me, <laughs> and I'm going to pray for you, I'm telling you that right now, let me pop my vitamin, vitamin C, go ahead and start getting your body ready, because it's getting ready to go down y'all. And I hope y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed the daily bread. This is one that you really, really, really do need, Jesus. You need him now. And I mean right now. Okay? Now, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. And let's get on over here to Trisha's motivational moment. She on. And I'm over here babbling. But I'm, I'm telling you, get it together. Let's, let's repent and get everything done, y'all. Get it done and let's do it right. Bye now. Whoosh.